What's up guys, so John out here, and so my extracurricular activities are not the same that they used to be. Obviously, I'm a father now, family's priority to me, my son's a priority to me, and uh, I'm coaching baseball, right? So I coach two teams, I coach a rec team, and I coach an advanced baseball team for the league. So my time is getting stretched like you would not believe, right? All the time I'm working with Titan, and I have to go in, do all that, right? So those are grueling hours in the day, then I got to find some time for some activity for myself to keep myself in great shape because that's what should be most important is our health. And then I have to come out here and I have weekday games, weekday practices, Saturday games, doubleheader Sunday games, and then I'm going right back into my work week. So you ask yourself, how do I find the time, which is really crazy, and the energy to do this? Because now I'm 41 years old, right? It isn't like I used to be in my 20s. When I was in my 20s, I could sleep maybe two hours, get up, be ready to rock and roll all day long, all day and night, right? But at this point, it, it's gotten a little bit harder for me, a little more challenging, I think, for all of us as we get older. And this is kind of where the Titan therapies have really helped me, right? Not in just the gym or working out or doing those things like that, but out here, giving me the energy, giving me the focus, and being able to teach these kids, you know, something that they're gonna have with themselves their whole life, right? This is something that they're going to keep with them, their experiences, the fun they're having out here, and, and, and the teamwork, right? Because teamwork's what it's all about. So this is just some of the things that Titan Medical Center Therapies helped me with. And I'm not just an owner, I'm a patient as well. So I take the therapies right along with all you guys. I've been doing it for years now, for over 10 plus years, and it's been a game changer for me in every way, shape, or form. You know, from my physical health to my mental health, all the way around. Titan Medical Center Therapies have taken me to a whole different level. And at that point, I know they can do the same for you guys. So uh, you guys can check out some of the game back here. I'm about to start here very shortly. I appreciate you guys. What's up guys, John here, and we are at Tight Medical Center here in Tampa, Channelside District, our beautiful location, multi-million dollar state-of-the-art facility for all our patients out there. Today we got a, uh, you know, the Lamborghini Huracan, the Titan Lamborghinis out here. Um, with this car though, it, it's awesome. It sounds so mean, right? So you can hear this thing like crazy when you start it up, when you're driving down the street, you know, it is one thing, you know, I was on my bucket list when I was a little kid, right? I think everybody plays with their little Hot Wheels and little Lambo cars or exotics. And uh, I think as a kid, everybody wants to drive one of these things when they grow up, right? There are some good things and some bad things, I guess, about it, right? Um, that I would compare it to, to the other vehicles that I have. You know, with the Lamborghini itself, beautiful on the outside, beautiful on the inside. But the only thing is the space, right? So if you're real, real tall, this might not be the car for you, okay? Because it is a little tight on the inside. Now I'm six foot, so it's perfect for me. But if you were like 6'3", 6'4", this might not be the perfect car for you. When you come in, you gotta like slide in and you gotta like slide out. You know, with it being a convertible, you're not like scooting back, you're not putting your seat back and relaxing, it's gonna be straight up, you know, in the C8. When I have that one, I can actually scoot back a little bit. It's a little bit more comfortable as far as driving, but there ain't nothing like driving this Lambo for sure. This is how I want my body to feel. I want it to feel like this exotic car. I want it to perform like this exotic car. I want it to look beautiful. And I want it to perform at optimal levels for me every single day. 
So I, I, I kind of put in between here, right? I always tell people like, listen, if you want your car or your body to perform like your car, then at that point, that's where the type medical center therapies can help you do this. It can make you feel like this exotic sports car. The only other difference with this thing too is the trunks in front, it's called the frunk. There is no trunk in back. Um, people ask me about that all the time. Like, listen, it's a, it's a mid-engine, rear engine. So at that point, you're never gonna see that. So, you know, space in there, if you wanna take any bags or anything, you're not gonna go on a very far trip, okay? You might be able to fit a duffel bag in there with some clothes, socks and all that, but you're not fitting any more. No big suitcases, golf clubs, or anything like that. With the C8, even with the mid rear engine, you get a front and a little bit of a trunk where you can put like golf clubs and all this other stuff into. So like I said, it's a little bit of different of a ride and the inside and out. I want to show you guys a little bit of the Lamborghini Huracan, the tight medical center style, and uh, show you guys what it can do. So let's take a ride around town and I'll show you guys what this puppy has underneath the hood and how it roars when I'm driving down the street. Oh, there we go. Look at that. I love that. <laughs> awesome. Cool, bro. Thank you. Oh, look at this guy. Oh, big dude. <laughs> As you're driving by. That's it, man. Out in the town, baby. You know how we do it. Channel side running this district. <laughs> you know, it's always good. My brother Drew's out here, right? Around the streets, we're running this inside and out. That's right. <laughs> a little bit different on the shifting here. This is where you do the shifting and press your buttons too. Usually it's up here on the dash. Why you guys these little paddles right here? So I'm saying, as far as uh, bells and whistles, the vet's probably going to have more. But performance, Lambo's definitely gonna outdo it for sure. So this right here is so this is your windows. They're not on the sides. Um, this is like your automatic like off. So like this will basically turn off like automatic parking or like stuff like that. Like it'll help you do that. Um, emergency obviously. This is like parking like your like sensors. And then this is like your traction control. So you go to the track, you hit that, boom, done. And then this is your lift. So obviously this thing is really, really low, right? Um, and if you're gonna go somewhere where it needs to be higher in the front so you don't scrape the front or wreck your front end, you got the lift right here and that'll lift three inches in front. Like Transformers, baby, more than meets the eye. What's going on, you all? My name is Jason Page. For those of you in the Tampa area, I go by Poppy Page. Um, my job is a crazy lifestyle. I'm in the promotion field and I run events all week. Um, it's a lot of running around, a lot of here and there, there and here, consistently in my phone. And pretty much I needed to come and find something that can help me, give me the energy that I needed to stay consistent with work. Mm. I felt okay. Um, I felt better before. My, like I said, my energy was just not where it should have been. Um, trying to work out, I was able to finish the workout, but I wasn't able to push myself like how I used to do before things got crazy after the pandemic. So everything closed, staying in the house was kind of a hard thing to do. Working out at home sounds like it would be easy, but when you have snacks and everything around, nowhere to go, you can't leave your house, things get kind of repetitive. So. Uh, I decided to become a patient just 
for the fact of me hearing so many good things about Titan, me knowing a lot of people that worked here at Titan, and all the positive responses from people who are already a patient at Titan. Um, I said, hey, let's let's give it a shot. I, I know how my body normally feels and my body feels off. Like I said, coming out of everything we've been going through. So, reached out to John, came over to Titan, got introduced to my buddy Art, and you know, did everything I needed to do, got my blood work done. They pretty much showed me what I needed to work on and, and what was down and what was up. And some things were down that I didn't think, personally, I, I didn't think they were down. So the thing I needed really to enhance was probably my energy, my energy and my focus. Uh, I noticed that since my energy was down, my focus was kind of shifting everywhere and, and wasn't a good feeling. So currently I take the ECA Stack Plus. Now this is like my miracle pill. I take this in the morning with my, uh, my tea and my shake. What it does, is it's a consistent release of, of caffeine or energy throughout the day. There's no crash. It, it helps in the process of me working out, giving me that boost in the gym to where I don't take a pre-workout anymore because I don't need it. And at the same time, it helps me speed up my recovery. And you see the gains, the lean muscle. That's what we do, baby. And uh, overall, yeah, it's just, it's just, it's exactly what I need. Titan offers a lot of other therapies for an a range of people, but specifically for me, I have a athletic frame and what I needed for me was just my boost of energy to help me get into the gym, help me get back going. And now it's, I'm consistently where I want to be. I feel good. Uh, that's what it comes down to. Um, these therapies just are set for people that specifically need things that they specifically need. If, if you want to feel better energy wise, they have something for that. If overall health wise, you have something else going on, they have something for that. I feel great. I'm able to, I wake up at 5.30 a.m. in the morning. I'm in the gym by seven. Um, I start my day early. I'm not cranky anymore. It's always A1. Uh, shout out to my girl, Meech. <laughs> she always takes care of me. She always makes sure that even if I forget to make a phone call to order my therapies for the next month, I know that I'm getting that call from Titan to say, hey, this page, time to put in for the next month. Yeah, it bothers me if I don't have it. Not that I need it, but I enjoy taking it because I know the benefits that I have from taking it and I would rather take it than to stop taking it. So beyond happy, I'm, um, I'm grateful for Titan. I appreciate them as a company, as a whole for just helping people get to a point to where they're able to move how they once did. I'm not an old man, but I get so busy and so caught up when my energy is drained I'm kind of drained. This just kind of helps me get to the point to where I don't get too drained. But like I said, my lifestyle, I'm all over. I'm active. I'm here. I'm working out. I'm there. I'm dealing with a lot of people, making sure that uh, business still gets conducted as it should. But I feel better, so my business is doing good. Tight and strong. What's up, guys? John here. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. Awesome and good information that you guys can utilize. Honestly, whatever doesn't break you will make you stronger. That is the truth. What's up, guys? I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. Another one. That's right. And another one and another one. And another Coming one. At you. And another one. And another one. And another one. You know it. So every <laughs> Sunday, me and Sharice, my beautiful wife here, I bring you guys great tips, tricks, and things that will hopefully enhance, entice, and take your relationship to a whole nother level, and hopefully a good level, right? Um, and don't worry, guys, if you're single or not in a relationship, these will be great things to put in that tool belt for later on. So when you do meet, hopefully, that special person, you can utilize these things and really, really get you know, a lot out of these tips and tricks that we're going to give you guys, or just some good information that you might, you know, just take in and make it yours, however yeah. you want to, right? Because different relationships require different things. Definitely, 100%, right? <laughs> and, uh, you know, as we're talking about relationships, that's going to be the topic of the day. All relationships take work, right? What do you mean? It's like, it's just like an, it's a part-time job though. It's only like 10 to 2. Wait, what do you mean? I thought you can just be like, oh, I'm going to be in a happy relationship and it's going to be the best relationship at all. And poof, there it is. Yeah, it actually, it does work that way. If you have a lantern. Yeah, yeah. Yep. You know, you rub it and a big genie comes out. And what, oh, yeah, for sure. The genie's got it on point. 
<laughs> All right. So, yeah. So, you know, if you don't got the, the lantern and you don't got the genie, you're going to have to put in the work. Right. Uh. And um, this could be a whole bunch of different aspects. It really just depends on how you are as a person, what your partner's like, and really what kind of scenario you guys are in. Right. But, you know, the basic fundamentals and the work that you have to put in. Obviously, when you guys first meet each other, um, it's like the honeymoon phase. You know, everything's all good, all joyous. It should be anyway. Um, you really don't know everything about each other, I don't think, right? You're starting to learn more and more about your partner. Unless you guys are like friends, like for years and years on end, and then you decide, oh, let's get in a relationship. Then you might know a little bit more about your partner, yep. some of their quirks, um, you know, twerks. pros, cons, whatever it is. Twerks, yeah, whatever it is, right? <laughs> I can help myself. You, you'll know more, more in depth about that person. But usually... Um, you're meeting people for you know the first time per se, and then you're getting to know that person. You guys start dating, and then you're gonna boom get into a relationship, right? So when you're doing this, right, you're putting in the work, or you should be anyway. I don't know how this, the dating dating scene is nowadays. I'll never know, but I'll, I'll never know anymore. Hopefully, <laughs> uh, never again for sure. I don't want to get into that uh, he craziness. Won't be. <laughs> but you know, I mean, when you start right as a, as a guy in Things may have changed now, but usually you should court the girl, right? You're, you're, you're taking her out on a date. You guys are doing something, whether it's dinner, movies, pup, pup, golf, you know, whatever it is, right? Whatever you want to take your, your girl to go do or guy time. to go do, whatever it is. That's right. You're time. putting in the time. Putting in the time. You're spending time together. Yep. You're sharing experiences together, which is creating a bond between you guys, right? This is pretty easy stuff, or it should be anyway. Yeah. So once you're doing this, right, you're putting that time, you're putting that effort on both sides, it really should be coming. So at that point, you guys are really, you know, becoming together, you know, and that's when the relationship hopefully starts. And the relationship can start in a number of different ways, right? And it doesn't have to take a lot of time to start a relationship. It could be short. <laughs> with a couple of weeks or it might take a longer amount of time it could take a couple months who knows Sometimes i really i mean i really i really think it's about how much time you put in so like when me and john first met right we're weird so don't don't always go by exactly what we did because it's just it's we're just weird so anyways when we first met we literally spent every day and let me take that back we've spent every day together <laughs> since we've met however um you know in the first and i had my own job he had his own job you know we worked two separate jobs right. um but we spent like literally every day together like every night together right. we watched movies in bed we talked mm -hmm. you know it was just like just bonding experiences every single day and night mm -hmm. it was every single day and night and it wasn't even like and it's not that it's not okay for guys to go out and have a good time with their friends or girls to go out and have a good time with their friends. But I do think ultimately, and this is my, my opinion, is that if you're in a relationship, I would only guess that you would want to spend the time that you're not at work with your significant other, right? So like after work, you guys would do dinner and then, you know, maybe have some fun. Or at least I would say three, four nights out of the week, mm -hmm. maybe five nights out of the week, you guys are spending that time together. So mm -hmm. it's really weird to me anyway that, you know, sometimes I'm hearing about some of these relationships and you'll go like three days without seeing your boyfriend or like, you know, and you're trying to build this relationship, but you're going like three or four days without seeing each other. Or you, there's not even like a good reason why either. It's just, oh, I'm at my place and she's at her place and it's whatever. But like, why are you go? Why don't you guys hang out at the same place yeah. after work yeah. and like talk? I mean, because if you don't, if you don't start talking and get that time with each other, because you can't, nothing replaces time. Time is time, right? That's right. It's not. You can't get it back. Nope. You can't pay for it. Nope. You can't go buy it. You know, it's just it, time is special. Yeah. So you got to spend that time in order to be able to really develop the relationship you're trying to, you know, trying to get. Yeah. It's the same thing with like a, a child, a dog, like anything, mm -hmm. any type of relationship with anyone. Mm -hmm. You got to put the time in. That's right. You know, and then that's how you build. That's so, right. I mean, I think if you're in a relationship and you guys are dating, I really think you should be seeing each other more than like twice a week. You know, yeah. I mean, it, 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 especially... It, Listen, if you got a job and you got to travel, you got to work, whatever it is, yeah, it's that's one thing, right. right? If you guys are in the general vicinity of the same town or city, let's you guys call are like three miles away Tampa, from each other, yeah. Um, yeah, <laughs> I mean, it's pretty normal. I mean, I would want want to think that, especially in the beginning, as you guys are getting to know each other and you guys are, you know, going towards being boyfriend and girlfriend and having a serious relationship, 
um, then yeah, you're going to probably want to spend majority of your time with that girl or guy, whatever it is. Um, you know, you want to, it's not forced on you. Right. They're not making you like you genuinely want to, right? You're like, I got, I'm taking care of my work, right? I, maybe I go get my workout in and then I'm going to spend time with my girl. Um, because I want to be there, right? I, I want to be by her. I want to be next to her, you know, get the loving in, whatever it may be, mm-hmm. but you want to be by, you know, you know, the person that you're wanting in this relationship with. Um, when you don't spend that time together and you really start spending the majority of the time apart, then are you got, you know, is, how's that going to go? Like, you know, do you guys keep growing together or do you guys maybe growing apart in some ways, yeah. circumstances, you know, that could happen. Right. Um, it just, it's just really, I don't know. It, it's different. Everybody out there right now and when the dating scene is, I ask all my friends, I look by curiously <laughs> through them, you know, how are everything is out there? How's it going? Like, what are you guys going through? You know, so I can hear the inside scoop. And most of the guys are the exact same, right? You know, if they're with a girl, they really like a girl, they start dating a girl, they start spending more time with the girl and less time with the friends and less time out, right? Right. Because they're not looking for anything out, right? Right. They're 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 adamantly like, you know, wanting to hang out with. I've got everything I need right now. Yeah. Okay. I don't need to go out to the bar. It's like fun to to hang out with your significant other. Uh, Now, don't get me wrong. You know. Guys night out or guys like to go hang out with guys and talk about guy stuff. I totally <laughs> understand this, right? You know, because some things you're probably not going to be able to talk to your girlfriend about, especially in the beginning. You know, you don't want to embarrass yourself or you want to make yourself maybe look a certain way. I don't know. There's all different <laughs> types of things out there. So I understand maybe you want to go out, blow some steam off with the guys. But, uh, you know, at that point, I don't think you need to, you know, to a certain extent. Now, all your guys might be running you through the bus or running you over saying, ah, 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 you're P-whooped, ah, 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 ah. <laughs> you know, and then, and then you get that, right? You give him that flack and, like, you know, we'll ask him, like, you know, what about his girls now? You don't have one. That's how it is. Oh, oh, oh <laughs> you have no whoopings. And, you know, I mean, you know, those guys, you know, they might be able to get girls and no stuff like that. No whoopings for you. <laughs> but it's not achieving, like, true happiness, right? You know, right. anybody can go out, hook up. Right. And at that point, what's it worth? Even guys out there, I talk to them, right? And, you know, just hooking up with a girl doesn't mean anything, right? It's like I hook up with a girl, so cool. And strange. then after I'm done hooking up with the girl, like, I'm like, all right, I'll get you an Uber and you got to go home. <laughs> so they don't really, really want to spend time with them, right? It's, it's just all about the physical touch and the love and, and you're out the door. Yeah. But, you know, when you find a mental connection as well as a physical connection, yeah. I think that draws you in more. I think you're going to be more enticed more. I think that everybody out there wants to find love or a significant other or partner. Um, majority of people, you know, I have, you know, one of my friends, going to be 40 years old this July, <laughs> you know, has a baby <laughs> and has it. Like settle down. Like he never every, will. Every time he never. And I'm will. about to see him in a couple of days. Uh, he never every time, will. right? He'll be like, yeah, I'm like, oh, you know, this girl, and, blah. and then he'll get the girl, right? He'll get her, like, oh he got her locked God. up, and then once he has her locked up, it's like, oh, challenge is over. What else can I do? I mean, I've literally had like Sharice was with me when we went up there. It was years ago, oh, and he God. had a serious girlfriend. Was... Her name was Karen. I'll never forget. Her name was real Karen. nice, right? Her name Karen, was Karen. Right? <laughs> and she was nice, real nice Karen. She wasn't one of the mean ones. <laughs> And, uh, you know, she's literally like, we get home. I took, we all went out to like a nightclub in Chicago. We stayed at my friend's house. We go back there, right? Because, you know, he's having people or whatever. The girlfriend's like, ah, oh, I'm tired. He's like, all right, go to bed. So she goes to bed, right? And then what does he do? He gets on the phone. He calls up a couple girls and he tells them to it. come over. Next, next, next remote. So we're literally out in the living in room. In the same apartment. When these other girls are coming over to see him, he's specifically trying to hook up with another one while he has his girlfriend sleeping in, in, in the other room and literally down the hallway. Now, obviously that's not right, right? I'm but, like, John, you are never hanging out with this man, ever. But it was kind of funny because I'm, I mean, not, not funny for the girls, <laughs> but it was just a funny situation. Like the balls on this guy to be able to do this, you know, because I don't think I'd ever do that. That is good. But, you know, but, he's, he's pretty. You know, this is just this is just some of the funny stories and trust me i've got a ton more of these stories oh yeah they're great um you know and some with the same guy but uh you know it's just it's just funny so you know at that point some people might never be content um but i think there is somebody out there for everyone it's just you know you have to go through some of the trials garbage and, tri- and, trials, trials, and trials and tribulations, and tribulations to you're find gonna it. do it and you gotta keep keep with it and that's the next thing when you find the treasure don't treat it like garbage and trash and like everything else that you find on the street, right? That's when you really got to put in the work. And that's when you really want to, 
you know, make yourself vulnerable to a certain extent, open up to that person, as long as everything's going well, right? That's not something you do on the first date, but as you're working and you're spending more time together, you're learning more about that person mm -hmm. and they're learning more about you. And that's bringing you guys closer together. And it doesn't end there, because once you get in the relationship, listen, now you guys are, you know, getting to the serious part, and you might be moving in together and talking about it just engagement. Keeps, it keeps going. Even babies. when you're past the baby and the marriage and all that, you get to a 10 year mark, right? Yeah. And we're past the 10 year mark. And then you're like, okay, so what do we do to make sure that we, you know, keep each other happy? You know, what do we do to make sure that everybody's still content and they're 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 liking the relationship still, you know? And it's pretty easy to do. Just go back to the first steps of what you did in the relationship to mm -hmm. begin with. Yep. You were all about it. You were courting her, you were taking her out, you might have been buying her some roses here or there, whatever it may be. Go back to that point. Don't become complacent and be like, oh, whatever, you know, she's cool, you know, I already got her, it is what it is, you know, I'm, I'm concentrating on this or that. Or even take the minute, like, you know, me and John are busy. We went, I, honestly, I think I might be one of the most busiest people on the planet outside of the president of the United States. And even so, I am definitely, nah, I'm, basement, I'm definitely busier than the president of the United States. I, you have to take that moment too when you've been like in a relationship for X period of time. And I, you, it could be a year, it could be two years, three years, four years, five years, 10 years, 20 years, whatever it is and recognize that oh shoot we haven't spent like any time together in like two three weeks you know because it's just get up work go to sleep baby get up, work, whatever, go to sleep. baseball kids. now it's like literally it's sleep work baseball sleep work baseball 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 then more work 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 and then some sleep then baseball yeah. All I see is baseballs in my dreams, okay? It is. So it's okay. As long as my son turns out to be an MLB player, we're good. So I, I, I'm willing to sacrifice. However, it, it does intervene with our personal time. Okay. So you have to take a moment to be like, wait a minute. We haven't spent any time together. We need to go like we need to go to like a movie or like we need to go to dinner, right. you know, or do something. Right. It takes what an hour or two, two hours out of your day to go yep. do something and yep. recognize that it's like, oh shoot, this has been happening, and you don't go the whole year and be like, oh shoot, we haven't seen each other for a whole year. We're just busy. Yeah, and that that puts strain on the relationship too. Trust me. Um, so that that's just some tips and tricks for you guys. Yeah, that's lots of tips and tricks. Keep working on your relationship. Don't ever stop. Yeah. Right? It's a full-time gig, just like anything else you're gonna do. You gotta put in the work. What you put in is what you get out. True. All right? So that's just some great advice from me and my beautiful wife here, Sharice. So guys, we'll see you guys next Sunday, ABC, 11 a.m. If you missed the live show, DVR it. If not, go to YouTube, type in Type Medical Center, hit the subscribe button and the all Ding. notification bell, Ding. and you'll get all these great episodes and a lot more cool content <laughs> with me, Sharice, the Titanettes, the Titan crew, and all the therapies we offer. So I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we'll see you next week for another Cupid's Corner. See you then. Bye.